What I thought I'd do is really dispel the myth of making a souffle. It's really simple. But the most important thing with souffle is in the preparation. And what you need to do is butter the moulds really well all the way around with your fingers. You get it right around the top as well. If you can grab me some sugar. Now I always use a bit of caster sugar to line my souffle moulds. So really well buttered. Using the caster sugar, dip that in. Make sure it's nicely coated all the way around. Once it's lined with the sugar and the butter, don't put your hands inside because it'll break that seal that you've created around the edge. Now, our base for our souffle uses this custard. Now, it's quite unusual using the custard for this, and especially ready-made stuff. We want about four tablespoons. And what I thought we'd do is flavour this souffle with passion fruit. The most important thing with passion fruit is when you buy it, buy it with a wrinkly skin. When it's got a smooth skin, it means the passion fruit inside is not quite ready, so the skin needs to be lovely and wrinkly. And when you cut it through, you get all that really nice juice. Squeeze that into there and keep the pips in as well. I always like texture to a souffle. Often souffles can be too sort of custardy. Yeah. You know, it's so nice to have that different texture in there. So we need four egg whites. We can whisk that up nicely. This is the stabilisation process of the souffle. If you don't get this right, the souffle will collapse. Quick we'll look. So make sure it's nicely firmly whisked. There is an old way of testing them that my tutor used to do. Yeah. They're ready. But then what we do is just fold these together. Now, this is really important, this method. You add the mixture, and then you carefully fold it in. Now, carefully means carefully, but it also means quickly. And when you press it down, press the mixture over the moulds. Just creates a lovely flat edge, so you want a flat souffle as it rises up. And this is really important. Take your thumb and literally just go around the edge of the mould. And does that help them just rise up? Yeah. Basically, if I didn't do this, the souffle would stick to the top of the moulds. Straight in the oven, about 190 degrees centigrade, for about 8 to 10 minutes. And keep the oven door closed. And I thought, with that, what I thought I'd do is do sort of a bananas and custard sort of idea. But that hot and cold mixture, because I'm going to serve it with ice cream, it's one of the things that I used to love as a kid. Bit of butter in the pan there, Will. That would be nice. Nice hot pan. Throw in the bananas now. Bit of sugar in there, Will. You need it to get this colour. See the colour that you're getting on the bananas? This way you're going to get a lovely toffee sort of flavour. So the butter's melting, the sugar's caramelising all at the same time. But also you don't want to heat it up too much because you want the bananas to still stay nice and whole. Just a pile of the bananas on the plate. You can get me the souffle, Will, now. Yeah. On there, mate. Like that. Dust in with the old ice and sugar. Good scoop of vanilla ice cream. You like that? Very nice. Well done, boss. Cheers. You see, it's not so hard to make a souffle.